when I shoot Chinatown, I shoot the architecture, the people, not just events. I shoot what's going on in daily life. And everything changes. Murals, graffiti, store opening, store closing, vegetable display, at the bakeries. I shoot anything and everything in Chinatown. Yeah, I shoot life, you know, like daily life. I'm a crazy animal. <laughs> I'm shooting for that fun. The historical photos. And that, that's what I love. I'm Frank Zhang. Um, I'm a community photographer uh, for the last, I think, about 20 years. I joined uh, Chinese Historical Society. It was the way is that uh, I can practice uh, my photography and I can give the community memories. I was practicing and get, get to know everybody and everybody knew me. Pretty much documenting the history. I don't just uh, shoot the events. I'm telling a story. And whatever photos that I post on Facebook, it's just like being there from start to end. I do a good job and I take hundreds and hundreds of photos <laughs> and I was specializing in Chinese American history I want to cover what's happening in Chinatown what's happening in my community I shoot a lot of government officials I probably have thousands of photos of Mayor Lee uh, Rose Pack and and all the dignitaries but they treat me like wanted a family member because they see me all the time. They appreciate me. Even the local cops, all, uh, the, the firemen, you know, I feel at home. I was uh, born in Chinese Hospital in uh, 1954. And uh, well, we grew up dirt poor. Our family was, was lucky to grow up in Pingyun when I was in junior high. I have a degree in hotel and restaurant management. I was. Uh, working in a restaurant business for probably about 15 years. I started when I was 12 years old. When I got married, my wife uh, had a import-export business called Menu Imports. I figured, yeah, the restaurant business, uh, I, I got tired of it. I said, ah, come work for the family business. I said, ah, okay, it's going to be interesting. And uh, so interesting, I lasted for 30 years. Uh, I'm married, I have one daughter, and uh, she's a registered nurse. Uh, she lives in Los Angeles now. Uh, two grandson, and uh, we have fun. I got into photography when I was in junior high, high school. Uh, film cameras, uh, the black and white days, uh, I, I was able to process uh, my own film. I wasn't really that good because, you know, film, uh, color film, and processing was expensive. And uh, I kind of like left it alone for about 30 years. I was doing product photography for advertising and kind of got back into it. Everybody said, oh, digital photography, uh, the year 2000. It was a ghost town in Chinatown, uh, I figured, I said, it's time to shoot Chinatown, storefront, nobody, everybody in uh, Grand Avenue. There was not a soul uh, walking around Chinatown. A New Asia restaurant uh, used to be the biggest restaurant in Chinatown. It can uh, hold uh, about a thousand people. And I've, I've been shooting events there for many years. It turned into a supermarket. And I got in, I shot the supermarket, and uh, you know, it's a uh, transformation. Even the, the owner of the restaurant said, what do you want to shoot? The, the restaurant is 50 years old. Yeah, I said, yeah, it, it looks awful. I said, history, because I'm shooting history. And it was impressive. 
because it's history, because you can't repeat. It's gone, it's gone. Oh, so you stick with Frank, he'll teach you everything. Oh yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not as much pressure, right? It's, um... Next generation of photographers, <laughs> cell phone photography, that's gonna be the generation. Wow. I think cell phone okay. in the next mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. two, three right. years, You're missing that. the big cameras is obsolete already. Mirrorless camera is, is going to take over market and the cell phone is going to be better. But nobody's going to archive it. Nobody's going to, going to keep good history. Uh, everybody's going to take snapshots, but nobody's going to catalog. They don't care. I want to see you. It's not keepsake. It, there's no, uh, no memories behind it. Uh, everybody is sticking in the cloud, they lose it. Who cares? But, you know, I care. Well, uh, last September of, of uh, uh, 2020, I had a, a minor stroke. And uh, uh, my daughter was uh, fast to catch it on Zoom. I, I was uh, uh, having a Zoom call for my grandkids. And um, my daughter and uh, and my uh, uh, the, the little kids they said, "Hey, you you sound strange." And, you know, I said, "I I'm not able to speak uh, properly." I said, well, "What happened?" My wife was taking a nap, and my daughter she 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 called home. You got a stroke. And I said, "Yeah, get get him to the hospital." Five minutes later, you know, the the uh, ambulance came and took me away, and. I was uh, uh, at ICU for uh, four days. It, it was a mushroom. I, I have hundreds of uh, messages wishing me uh, get well soon. Everybody you know, uh, wish that I'm, I'm okay and you know, back to normal. But you know, I, I was uh, up and kicking uh, uh, two weeks after uh, my hospital stay. It was a wake-up call. I needed to get my life in order and uh, try, try to organize things, especially organize my photos. I probably took probably two million photos in the last 20 years. I want to donate it to an uh, organization that's going to use it. I'm just doing it from the heart. Yeah, you know, I enjoy doing it uh, to give back to the community. That's most important, give back to the community. It's a lot to the family and also... The love, yeah. love of the community. Yeah. I was a born hustler. <laughs> I'm too busy to slow down. I, I love what I'm doing. I love to be busy. You know, I, I, go, I go nuts when I'm not doing anything. I, I'm 67 this year. Uh, I figure, 70, I'm ready to retire. I'm, I'm wishing to uh, train a couple more photographers to take over my place. I want the younger generation to have a passion, document the history, because it's going to be forgotten in 10 years, 20 years. Maybe I will be forgotten when I'm gone in, in a couple years, but I want to be remembered for my work. And, uh, you know, photographs, well, well, be a remembrance. I'm Frank Jang. I'm a community photographer. This is my story. When you're not looking, Frank's there. He'll snap, snap, and then he'll send me an email or two, and they're always the best. <laughs> These are all my photos. Oh, wow, nice. Yo, 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 it's just an icon. It's just pink. Here. <laughs> That's how I look at you, Frank. I never say that to you. Never. Next subject. <laughs>